Hey guys, so today we're doing a Will I Buy It video. A big thank you to Samantha March for starting these kinds of videos. They are really fun to do and I love talking about new releases that are uh, coming out or have just come out. And I actually have a fairly long list this week. I, I've been doing these uh, videos a little bit more regularly because I actually have some things to talk about. And when it comes to these videos, it's all about timing and sometimes I feel like I either just kind of like missed a whole bunch or there just isn't that much to talk about. But yeah, I have quite a long list here. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, the first thing I wanna talk about is something that I've already put out on my Instagram stories and I'll be talking about it in my next video because I actually have it on my face today, but it is the Kogendo Brightening Moisture Powder. So this is a powder that they actually released quite some time ago and it was limited edition, but it sold out really quickly. So they decided to bring it back and I am uh, getting in contact with them and trying to figure out whether or not this is limited edition again or if this is gonna be part of their regular line. But this is their Brightening Moisture Powder and I. I love this powder. This is a powder that has like a little bit of a pearly sheen to it. So when I use it to set down my makeup, it just gives me this beautiful, beautiful glow. And I'm someone that generally does not like a sheen to my setting powders. I generally like to leave that for my highlighter or even for my finishing powder. But I like using this powder as setting powder because it's like, it's as sheeny as I like to get. Like there's no micro glitters. It's so refined and smooth looking that I think it just does such a good job setting down my makeup. You could by all means use this as a finishing powder as well. But I think the advantage for me personally with this one setting powder is that it's pressed. I have a lot of loose powders that I really love for setting. I have a Kogendo powder that you guys know. It's a loose powder, I love it. I've been adding in some of the Lancome powder that has you know a little bit of sheen to it. I've been mixing those two together to kind of get me a sheen. And this powder kind of gives it to me all in one and in this pressed powder format, which is just so much easier to use, so much easier to travel with. And I just love, love this powder. And I'm so happy Kogendo has brought this back. So I'm really excited. And I will let you know down below in the description box whether or not it's back for real or back for a limited time only. All right, next up I've got two primers to talk about. The first one is the Guerlain L'Essentiel Pore Minimizer and Shine Control Primer. It retails for $53 and I saw it on the Nordstrom site, so it is available already. It has this like really pretty light green like pistachio color to it and it is meant to be a pore minimizer and a shine control primer. So when I first uh, saw kind of like preview pics of this primer, I thought, yes, I definitely wanna try this. I love the L'Essentiel foundation. It is, it's a beautiful foundation. I think it looks really great on my skin. I think it's great for dry skin, which is what I have. But this primer, Sounds like it's definitely for more oily skin. And I generally stay away from like pore minimizer shine control primers because they just end up mattifying and drying my skin a little bit too much. So I was excited for this, but I think I'm gonna have to pass because I just don't think it is meant for my skin type, unfortunately. The other primer I saw on the Nordstrom New Arrivals site is the YSL Touche Clop Blur Primer in the shade Silver. So they had one in gold and I've tried that one and now they have it in silver. I'm a little bit confused by this because I don't feel like the gold is actually very visible. Like once you put it on your skin and then once you get your makeup on. So I'm not sure what the silver is meant to achieve. I don't know if they're actually making this primer a little bit more pigmented than I remember. I just don't recall like the gold being enough of a gold that you would need to like offer a different color. And I happen to be a fan of the Guerlain Lore primer. I actually like that primer. I think it does a really nice job kind of like smoothing my skin. But the few times I used the YSL Touche Clot primer, I had always heard that it was very uh, similar to the to the Guerlain, but I actually didn't find that. I found the YSL to be a lot stickier, which is great if you want to help the longevity of your makeup, but I just didn't really like that feeling on my skin. It was just a little bit too tacky for me and I was expecting it to be like the Guerlain. But anyway, I'm just a little bit confused by this silver offering. If you guys have used this YSL Gold, the original, and you do feel like it leaves your skin like kind of like with a warm golden sheen, will you let me know down below in the comment section? Because I just don't think it was enough to warrant a whole nother shade in this whole silver. And it does retail for $52. Oh, I'm totally lying. I have a third primer <laughs> that I wanna talk about. And this primer I am definitely picking up. Surat Beauty has come out with a primer. And I believe this is the first primer that Surat has ever come out with. And at the moment it is only available on 
uh, the Surat Beauty website. I'm just waiting for it to show up on some other retailers before I purchase it, just so I can, you know, take advantage of points or notes or things like that. So it comes in like a tube pump and it is water-based and it is formulated with a blend of oil absorbing powders. Our primer eliminates shine and dullness and creates a, bl a pore blurring skin softening effect. Uh, okay, I didn't realize it was gonna be kind of like a pore blurring mattifying kind of primer. Okay, it's lightweight, silky finish, no pilling, no creasing. It's suitable for all skin types. It's paraben gluten and silicone free. Oh, it says you can even reapply it over foundation to reduce shine as needed. I did really want this primer because I love Surat Beauty, but I just don't know that this primer is meant for me. Again, I have dry skin, so I just don't think I'd want anything mattifying, but I do think I'm gonna have to pass on this one as well. All right, next up, it looks like YSL is coming out with a 3D all over glow powder. And in fact, actually it is out already. Retails for $48. I see it on the Nordstrom <laughs> new arrivals site. I spend a lot of time here. Uh, let's see what the description says. It is a universal multi-use highlighter and finishing powder for all skin tones to create a natural all over glow. There's only one shade. Uh, which is interesting. This buildable pressed powder is packed with iridescent micro pearls to help create a subtle lit from within look on your skin. The versatile powder instantly brightens your complexion with light coverage. Okay, I don't have that much experience with YSL makeup. I have a few things for sure. And their loose powder is one that I actually really enjoy. I think they've actually discontinued that powder, but I would be interested in trying this. You guys know I really like like a sheeny finishing powder um, or like a subtle highlight. I really like products that can kind of work as both. So I'd be willing to give this a shot. I'm always a little skeptical though, when there's only like one universal shade, because I don't feel like there's ever really a universal shade unless it's just like, clear. So I wouldn't mind being able to kind of uh, swatch this in person just to see, because by the looks of this picture, it does actually look a little bit deep for someone with my skin tone, but I don't know how translucent this powder is gonna be. So we'll see, maybe I'll stop into Nordstrom and see if they actually have it in store, kind of just do a little swatchy in person. All right, and there are three foundations. Let me see, one, two, three, yeah, three foundations I wanna talk about. I've only seen pictures of these foundations, so I really don't know much about them, but the first one is from By Terry, and I saw this on O underscore Angel One, um, her or his, actually, I'm not sure, uh, Instagram feed, and this is the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Foundation with SPF 30. It looks like a serum foundation because the applicator looks like a dropper. It's supposed to be completely weightless on the skin. It's supposed to be suitable for sensitive skin. I think it's supposed to have a medium coverage. There's going to be 18 shades. And so far it looks like sales are going to start in France, which is where By Terry is based, and that that will start on February 15th. Unfortunately, I don't know much else. I don't know when it's going to be released in the US. I always find when there's an SPF product or an SPF labeling on a product that it is released in different countries like completely in a staggered way. So I have no idea on release dates, but because it's so lightweight, I would think that they would want it to come out kind of like for spring, summer, just kind of seems appropriate to me, but I really don't know. But I am very intrigued by that. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of By Terry. Um, their hyaluronic line has been very good to me. So I would be very, very interested in trying that out. And then I saw this actually pop up on the same Instagram feed a while ago, but I haven't talked about it, I haven't mentioned it because I haven't heard anything, but it looks like Sisley is coming out with a tinted moisturizer. And you guys know, I could not be any happier because every base product I've tried from Sicily, I have absolutely loved. They're beautiful, they're flawless, they're always so skin-like. You get a really good amount of coverage, but it just looks completely flawless on your skin. It doesn't look makeup-y in any way. And this is, I believe, the Fito Hydra 10. I don't know how many shades are gonna be offered. Sicily is really not known for their shade range, um, but it looks like there's gonna be um, an SPF 15, and it's called a Beautifying Tinted Moisturizer. It looks like it could be for sale in Japan already and then maybe moving over into Europe in March. But I really, again, I really don't know about the US. I have no idea when this is coming out, but you bet your sweet begonias, when this comes out, I am definitely gonna be picking this up. This just has like absolutely everything. I'm 
all, all over this. I'm really, really excited for this one. Okay, and then the third foundation that looks very, very interesting is from that uh, skincare company. Everyone loves that one, like, toner that they have, or it's like a, a lotion. Biologi, you know, I'm gonna put it up on the screen because I'm just completely slaughtering it, but it is a serum kind of foundation. And I found this on the Trend Mood One site. It's supposed to give a natural cover, it's supposed to provide healthy glow, and it's supposed to protect against urban pollutants, free radicals, acts as a photo protecting shield against the harmful effects of light radiation, UV, blue light, and infrared light. Um, giving you that healthy glow effect. Um, and it looks like someone actually commented, only five shades, question mark, and Trend Mood One replied, they're starting with these five, the coverage might be more sheer, and each shade can be used on different skin tones. Uh, we'll wait to see more pictures, videos, and info. So, okay, uh, again, I personally am very interested in this, so we'll see. It just says coming soon, no date on this either, so, We'll just have to wait. But those are three base products that I am very, very interested in. And Hourglass looks like they're coming out with um, some ambient lighting palettes, four actually to be exact. And these are the palettes that have like the three uh, different powders in there. And it looks like there's gonna be a diffuser edit, a dim edit, an ethereal edit, and a luminous edit. And it looks like some of them have two of the ambient lighting powders and one blush. Some look like they have the ambient lighting powder, a blush, and a bronzer. So I'm interested to see how popular these are because I don't know if they're still doing this, but I remember on the Hourglass site, you could actually kind of like build your own, which I think would be a little bit more appealing than getting one that's kind of pre-made. I don't know, unless there's a price difference. But apparently they're available now in some countries. I don't think that they've come to the US yet. I'm not sure, um, but I'm definitely gonna pass on this because I actually have so many of the Hourglass powders in different forms, whether they're in a palette or a single or one of these three pans that I pretty much have all the Hourglass powders that I need. So I'm personally gonna be passing on these. But I So I saw this on the O oh Angel um, Instagram feed and it says that it is exclusively at Sephora France, but these are the Natasha Denona Face Glow Cream Shimmer Sticks. I really like cream products. I feel like people either love them or hate them, um, but I happen to really enjoy cream products and I really like a, a beautiful like cream highlight. I think those look very, very seamless and natural and really beautiful. But so far it looks like it's just a French exclusive and it looks like there's uh, three different shades. I'd probably get the one in the middle, again, if these ever pop up in the US, but if they did, I'd be really interested in trying them out. Viseart is coming out with a new edit palette. It is their Paris edit palette and it is to celebrate Valentine's Day and it is actually available already. Viseart was so nice in sending me a message letting me know that they're actually gonna be mailing this to me. So I definitely will be doing a dedicated video to this palette because because it looks so, so pretty to me, and I love Viseart shadows. But this looks like it has six mattes and six shimmers, from what I can tell from the picture. And it's that beautiful kind of like cool toned um, palette that I think we're all kind of like hungry for. And they're calling this the Paris Edit Palette. I think they have a 12 pan palette that's called like the Paris Palette. And this is kind of, at least the shimmery colors on that bottom row, look kind of similar to what I remember that Paris palette being. So maybe it's a play off of that one, but it's it's just, it's so pretty, it's so soft. It really looks like late winter going into spring, like those colors. And the pricing is $39, which is the same as their other edit palettes. And I just love these palettes. Those little pans are magnetic. You can swap them in and out with the smaller um, Petit Pro palettes that have eight. If you wanna maybe take a smaller one to travel, you can kind of mix and match all of these palettes that Viseart has been coming out with. It's just fantastic. So I'm really excited to be getting this and I cannot wait to play around with it. Another Valentine's Day collection or small collection that's coming out is from Melt Cosmetics. They're calling it the Millennial Pinks collection. And there is an eyeshadow palette. There are, are those lip glosses? Hold on. Yes, there's four lip glosses and then there's two gel, like potted gel liners. Um, I definitely want to get the eyeshadow palette. I'm not sure about the lip glosses. They look very, very glittery, almost a little bit chunky. So I may pass on the lip glosses, but the gel liners actually look really cool. And I haven't tried um, any of the melt gel liners, but I like the silver and I like this kind of like terracotta pink that they've come out with. I think it'll also be a really nice match for the palette 
which I want to get. So I'm really excited for that. I'm a big, big fan of Mel Cosmetics shadows. I just did an out of my comfort zone video using the Vita palette, which was part of their Amor Eterno uh, collection. So if you haven't seen that and you want to giggle, definitely check out my out of my comfort zone video, but the shadows are just phenomenal. I just, I have great luck with Mel Cosmetics shadows, the stacks, the palettes, like all of them. I just, I really enjoy them. I find them to be just this wonderful balance of like really highly pigmented shades and really kind of like blendable and easy to work with. So this is coming out, oh, February 7th on the Melt Cosmetics site and then on Valentine's Day, February 14th at Sephora. So I'm really excited for this collection. And then on Chic Profile Official, um, on her Instagram feed, if you're not following her, definitely, because she is a British-based uh, UK blogger and she just has like the latest and the greatest in all makeup. But she actually tagged me in this Dior Garden of Light Valentine's Day collection. It looks like there's a quint, a powder, and a lip gloss. So I really like, I can't decide if the powder is like a highlighter. Maybe the powder is like a highlighter or one of those finishing powders that has a little bit of sheen to them. I would definitely be interested in picking the powder up. It's really beautiful. It looks like it has ginkgo leaves on there in this like pink and peachy kind of motif. Um, the lip gloss, I think I'm gonna pass on. I have not had good luck with Dior lip products, mainly because of the scent. I can usually end up kind of tasting them and I find the fragrance kind of lingers and it's not a fragrance that I like. So I'm probably gonna be passing on the lip product. And then the Quint, I don't know. I kind of feel like if I end up getting the Melt eyeshadow palette and the Viseart palette comes, I don't think I'll be needing this Dior palette. I feel like the shades are very, very redundant. I feel like a lot of these Valentine's Day collections are kind of similar, but I have to say the, the Quint is really beautiful. There is that those ginkgo leaves um, kind of embossed in the pans, and it is very, very pretty. I feel like if you're a Dior fan, you're gonna really, really like this. It has that kind of soft Valentine's Day, early spring kind of like color motif, and it's, it's quite lovely. So last but not least is a skincare product and Victoria Beckham and Augustina Spader looks like they're teaming up again for, I don't know, for something that they actually announced today. Yeah, when am I put, yes, uh, today. So you will know soon enough whether I was interested enough in purchasing it, but their little teaser Instagram ad says, 1990 called, it wants your serum back. Upgrade your technology. So I guess it's a serum. I am really excited. I really, really love the primer that they teamed up and put out. So yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna be purchasing this. All right guys, so that is it for this Will I Buy It video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Let me know what some things are that you are interested in purchasing down down below in my comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.